moment of truth. Am I 15 seconds behind? Those of you who were watching last week will know what I'm talking about. So those of you who are new have no idea. In fact, let's leave it at that. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Hello and welcome to tonight's virtual church. You are all most welcome, whether you are a long time listener, a medium time listener, or a short time newcomer, or even a heritage listener. Perhaps we've got some heritage listeners in the crowd with us today. Carmen Foster, who's been requesting a lot of hymns recently and always leaves really cool comments, uh, requested the first hymn, because I do read all comments, I do see them. He requested, come down, O love divine, seek thou this soul of mine to the wonderful tune Down Ampney by Rafe Vaughan Williams. He says, the words speak to me and the tune unforgettable. Well, I completely agree with you there. I'm actually going to stay with Vaughan Williams um, for a while, uh, for at least another tune, another hymn. And I'm just going to have a request now from um, Abby R. And it's just, 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 just let me read this to you. My dad, Alan, originally from the UK, uh, now in India, uh, sorry, Indiana in the US, loves your channel and has watched virtual church during his fight with uh, pancreatic cancer. Fight is over and he has been sent home with two weeks left to live. My family would like to request this song for him. Um, so, yes, and then there's something else about, uh, just for me. So Abby, Abby R, Abby and your family, um, if you're watching tonight, good evening. Um, you've asked for he who would valiant be against all disaster. Let him in consistency follow the master to the tune Monk's Gate. This is an English traditional melody and it's been arranged here by Rafe Vaughan Williams. So another one by, by RVW. And this is for Abby, and of course Abby, your father, and all of your family.
So Abby and your family, very much in my mind, and I'm sure very much um, it's in other people's minds as well. Okay, so now let's go on to our next hymn, which comes in from Bill, Bill Ratey. Um, and Bill has been in our community for a long time and has been very supportive, so thank you for all of your support, Bill. Bill has asked for... Um, oh, yeah, so I... So I, um, I, I... I played this hymn a few weeks ago and I didn't fully appreciate the backstory, the context around why it was written. A lot of people in America will know the hymn and will also know why it was written for and what inspired it. Here in England and maybe perhaps outside of the UK and the rest of the world won't necessarily know the context of it and it's not a, a well-known, well it's not sung in this country as far as I'm aware. Perhaps someone might want to correct me on that uh, but I don't think it's sung in this country. It is when peace like a river attendeth my way when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot, thou hast taught me to say it is well with my soul. Very briefly, um, the, the backstory to this is um, the, the author of these words, um, along with his wife, essentially lost um, their children, two children, on uh, a, a ship on a like a uh, on a um, um, a ferry, like the Titanic, but it was before the Titanic. It it, it crashed um, when it was afloat. Lost two daughters, and and then lost another child due to an illness, um, but then I had another child, um, which then survived. So they had two children who uh, who survived and three children who, um, who didn't survive, who died in infancy. And he was so affected by, so impacted, deeply, deeply uh, affected by losing his children on the boat that he wrote these words. And you, know, you can see why it's having children now. Um, so people in America will know that, people in this country will not know that. So I would I'd like to propose this hymn. Uh, anyone watching here in England who is who has influence over hymn choices in the service for Sea Sunday, perhaps this one might be um, a, an appropriate hymn, and perhaps a sermon might well be on the context around it. Perhaps an idea there which someone might take. So it, it is for Bill, and he says that he'd like to hear my expression. Well, so you've heard what it's about. Now let's try and let's try and ooze some feeling out of Rotterdam and put it into this fabulous hymn.
So, when peace like a river attendeth my way, and then it is well with my soul, it is well, <clears throat> it is well with my soul. A really powerful hymn, particularly, I've always said it's the words are really powerful. I've said that even though I've been playing this um, without fully appreciating the backstory behind it. I think when you can, I actually just take, I took the edge off the tempo as well for the first time there. Uh, just because I felt like it needs a bit more dignity and a bit more respect because of what um, what the author um, Haritio um, Spafford was saying, was trying to say in his story. So, the Bill, I hope that was okay for you. I hope that was a, uh, that, I hope that was expressive enough for you. Derek Warren is up next. Derek Warren is, uh, Derek Warren is one of our patrons. Um, so we have patrons, look at, uh, I, and we also have lots and lots of um, very, very generous, very cool um, channel members as well. Did I see somebody gift some channel members? Paul, thank you very much for that. His gift in 10 memberships, thank you so much, Paul. Barry, for your 49.99, thank you for your jumping fox uh, in front of fireworks. Really appreciate it, my friend. Nicknack, hello. Um, you made a request for 10 quid. Course, we'll get that in and Gregory as well 1999 another request there so thank you very much guys for your support and we will get those requests in later after our top five so Derek Warren has asked for um, is asked for the number one top requested him on BIS officially and this is now it's been requested again it's probably still in the lead because it doesn't get requested frequently i'm going to put in the extra verse um, because it is so good and actually it's fairly short um, once it's all done and out of the way he um derek doesn't give a reason why he requested it he just simply um asks for it it's praise my soul, the King of Heaven, to his feet thy tribute bring. Derek, are you in with us tonight? If you are in with us, please do say hello. And please do just reassure me once I start playing this that it is indeed the correct hymn. Because you've actually given me a tune name, which is not normally, um, uh, not normally um, associated to this tune. So... Fingers crossed, I do play the right one. That's a really good hymn tonight so far, guys. Thank you very much for your amazing requests. The virtual church, quite simply, would not be what it is without you. You make it good. I just, I just bounce off you. Here we go. And what an organ this is. Rotterdam. It's wonderful to play Rotterdam again. Let's go.
Praise my soul, the king of heaven. What an awesome tune that is. And there is an extra verse. So the, the scan, I think I took this from the new version of hymns, ancient and modern. Hymns for refreshing worship is the catch line. And there is an extra verse, which is quite nice. Um, it's um, verse four here. Frail as summer's flower we flourish, blows the wind and it is gone. But while mortals rise and perish, God endures unchanging on. Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise the high eternal one. And then verse five, the final verse is angels help us to adore him, which as you all know is usually the final verse. So five verses rather than four there. I'm making use of some of the mutations up on the, on the um, solo division. Thank you very much, Carmen, for your $20. Great hymn choice there. We'll get that in towards the end, definitely. That's one of my favourites, which I think you know already. Daniel Kubaki is up next. He's going to um, love this one. It's not one that I know, but he says, I don't know where I heard this old hymn, but I like it. I'm sending this out. Uh, what is it? I, I'm sending this out to Benjamin Yao. I'm not sure what that means. For all the hard work he does for VC and BIS. I know what that bit means, because Benjamin Yao does do a lot of work for BIS uh, and particularly VC. Now, Daniel Kubaki has requested, I have found a friend in Jesus. He's everything to me. He's the fairest of 10,000 to my soul. The lily of the valley, in him alone I see. All I need to cleanse and make me fully whole. In sorrow he's my comfort, in trouble he's my stay. He tells me every care on him to roll. Then the refrain, he's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of 10,000 to my soul. The tune um, is called Salvationist. Um, and that's by William Hayes, and the words are by Charles Fry. This is going to be more of a reflective one, so let's use some of the mutations down in the lowest division, and just some of the flutes up on the top divisions. And for those of you who like to see what I'm using, some of you out there do, some of you don't, but some of you do, I'll put on the screen for this one the stops that I'm using. So. I found a friend in Jesus. It goes like this.
hope, um, hope being able to see the, the stops on the screen was useful to some of you. And look, hey, if it's not useful to, the, to, to those who don't understand organs, just look away at that point. But there are some people who will watch who really get take a lot from seeing the um, registrations that I use. And I do intend at some point to go through um, in a bit more detail how to register a hymn. So I will do that this year. I will talk about registrations in a bit more detail for those of you who want it. That'll be a separate upload. And I just saw someone uh, join. Oh, Robert. Oh, what are you up to? He's, you've joined the generous crew. So, well, thank you very much for joining that one because that's um, rather generous as it's called generous crew. <clears throat> oh, yes. Well, I, I did, by the way, I did fix the audio and I can tell you um, how I fixed it after the next hymn. It took a very long time to work out. A lot of stress, a lot of blood, sweat and tears went into it. I really had to dig deep into my knowledge of um, technical information to find what the issue was. Because as you know, last week, whilst I was live, I had no idea. I, I could not work out what was going on whilst we were live. But once the cameras were turned off, once, once the microphones were turned off and everything was quiet in here, I sat down, had a think, worked it out. And I can pick Lottie up, but Lottie's just fallen over. And I'll tell you what the issue was after we've had Guide Me O, the great redeemer, pilgrim through this barren land. You know the, you know the rest, don't you? I am weak, but thou art mighty. Hold me with thy powerful hand bread of heaven, etc, etc. You know how it goes. This is coming from Brady Kilman, who hasn't given me a reason. Um, I think he just might like the hymn, which, to be fair, so do I. In the final sort of refrain, or the penultimate uh, line, I'm going to hold that D, because I think it is better. You know what I mean, right? So, guide me, O oh, thou great redeemer.
I'm sure if you um, were drawing up a top five and I asked nicely, I'm sure everybody here would put that into their, would sneak it in somehow into their top five. Surely, surely. It's an amazing hymn, isn't it? It's just so uplifting. There's no wonder a song at weddings and really big occasions because it just has that feeling of positivity and it guide me. Oh, it is fantastic. It's fantastic. It's definitely, definitely one of my top fives. One of my top fives. I've got quite a few top fives. I've probably got about 10 top five hymns, 10 lists of top fives because there were so many. Uh, right, let's go on. Let's let's keep let's keep the momentum going. Um, I saw a red come through, and I've got a feeling I know who it was. It, yeah, it's Roberts. Thank you so much. He says, "Awesome God, awesome group, awesome Richard." <laughs> That's very kind, Robert. Thank you very much. Now, Bill has just said in the chat to those of you who are here live that pedal point in the last verse just perfect. Who needs a tie can? <laughs> Well, I tell you, actually, that is louder than the Porsche Taycan. Oh yes, that's louder than the Porsche Taycan. It doesn't quite give you that feeling of being pushed back into your seat, though, and, not, and genuinely banging your head on the back of the chair. <laughs> Ouch. You know, I, I had a week off the other week because I had a, a minor operation. And I, I just caught it on the seat because it it's actually on the back of my head there. It was just around there, um, only it's a small thing. I had a little lump removed and it's still healing. But I caught it like that, <laughs> I was like, oh no. <laughs> uh, there's a, um, this quick, quick bit of waffle. There's a, there's a ride at Alton Towers here in England. Alton Towers to you Americans is a, a theme park uh, where there are lots of rides and stuff. And there's one ride, which I forget what it's called, someone will know which um, is over where the corkscrew used to be. That shows how old I am. Um, it might even be where the corkscrew was. And it sort of sets off from zero and goes to 100 or goes to 80 in a matter of just a couple of seconds, like that. And I, that tie can just reminds me of being on that ride where it just, like that. Anyway, anyway, I put that in the video because I thought you'd, some of you might like to see it. <laughs> Benjamin Yao's up next. He's put, um, there is coming a day, where is it? There it is. There is coming a day um, when no heart, so, I mean, let, let, sorry, let me zoom in. It's a bit small, this one. There is coming a day when no heartaches shall come, no more clouds in the sky, no more tears to dim the eye. All is peace forevermore on that happy golden shore. What a day, glorious day that will be, will be. There's a bit of an echo there. And the refrain is, uh, what a day that will be when my Jesus I shall see and I look upon his face, the one who saved me by his grace. When he takes me by the hand and leads me through the promised land, what a day, glorious day that will be. Don't know this one at all. Um, it's by Jim Hill. I don't know who Jim Hill is, but it's by Jim Hill. There are only two verses, so it's over quite quickly. Um, but I'll solo out the tune, because I suspect it won't be hugely well known. Stops together. I mean, let, let's get some nice stops together. What am I talking about? This organ has, you see all of these white things? They're all nice stops. There's only one stop I don't tend to use, and it's a symbol on the swell. That one. It's like it's like Christmas, I suppose. Like snowflakes falling down. I, I, I don't see the point of the, the point of that stop, to be honest. Question for the chat. Um, whilst I'm playing this, whilst you're enjoying this, who here has an electric car?
Yeah. So there we go. Beautiful, beautiful tune, and beautiful hymn, and and the, the sentiment of those words as well. Um, there is coming a day when no heartaches shall come. You know that even that is quite powerful in itself. No more clouds in the sky. No more tears to dim the eye. All is peace for evermore on that happy golden shore. What a day! What a glorious day that will be. So we can all think of something in our lives now, or something in the world, and we can say, "What a glorious day that will be when that, whatever it is, is finished." So it's kind of like very relevant to what's going on in the world. And in fact, let me just see. I didn't read what Ben wrote. He says, "Thinking about the future to come." Um, where there will be no sorrows, burdens, sickness or pain. In light of several home calling which happened to our local assembly community within this week. Uh, ben is dedicating the hymn also to all in the faith who has loved ones, who, um, who, have, who, who have had loved ones perished, especially in Ukraine. That's what I was just saying, really. Uh, especially in Ukraine as we come to a year since the war began can't really call it an anniversary can you but yes it's it, unbelievable to think that it's been a year since since that happened so Benjamin thank you very much for that uh, Daniel Kibaki uh, respect to you my friend respect to you it was indeed the Rita roller coaster at the old at Alton Towers have you been you must know um, it reminded me just that those of you who've watched my latest video that went online on Friday, um, there's a snippet in that where I get taken for a drive in a car, basically. And it's just <laughs> accelerate. I like fast cars. I like cars. Um, but I've never experienced anything like that before. And it really took me by, <laughs> took me by surprise. <laughs> and luckily, I managed to catch it on video. <laughs> it's been a car that I've wanting, been wanting to go in forever. So anyway, let's move off that now. Lead kindly... Oh, Oh, what a hymn. King Loudrup. You've outdone yourself here, my friend. You've really outdone yourself. Lead kindly light. Um, and um, Let me just focus my brain so I can actually find it first. So I can read you what all the words are. Lead kindly light amid the encircling gloom. Sounds like, sounds like um, following on from what the previous hymn was saying. Lead thou me on, the night is dark, and I am far from home. Lead thou me on. Keep thou my feet, I do not ask to see the distant scene one step enough for me. To the wonderful, wonderful tune, Alberta, by Sir William Harris. William Harris of lots of beautiful choral music fame, particularly which two anthems that is William Harris especially famous for. Quiz question for you. Pop quiz question. Which two anthems, unaccompanied anthems, is William Harris particularly famous for?
What a stunning tune. So, who who got the um, the pub quiz question right? Um, Ian Garden only got half a point. No, Ian Garden, you should know better. You don't spell fair like that in this instance. You should know better. I know, I know you. I know what you do for a living. I'll give you a quarter of a point for that, Ian. Maybe you've had a bit of wine, which I had had some wine. Jean, yeah, that is one of them, but it's not the one I'm thinking of. So basically the question is, what am I thinking of? Uh, Elizabeth Brown, I'll give you a point because you've got the E on the end of fair. What's the other one? Oh, Paul, Paul comes, Paul brings it home. Paul Bert, Paul Bert Whistle, sorry, it's a bit, it's, the text is tiny tonight. I can't seem to get it bigger, it's tiny. Fair is the heaven and bring us, O Lord God. Both double choir and both, uh, both in D flat. There we go, Ian, good on you. Good on you, my friend. Just drain the last your eggs into the glass. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Good for you. I just, uh, sorry, I just, I noticed we had another red donation earlier on. Richard, Richard Widdicombe, thank you so much. Always fun to listen uh, and watch Richard's events. That's very kind. I'm very grateful that you're here. I'm very grateful that you're, you're all here. Um, wonderful numbers tonight. Um, nearly 300 people watching, so that's really fabulous. Yay. Yay. Right, next hymn. Oh, Carmen Foster, you've done well tonight. Um, well, you know, if, if people request, I shall play. It's an old hymn which I remembered singing in church when, uh, when sung by a soprano. Hmm. Or should there be a comma there? It's an old hymn when, when, which I remembered singing in church, comma, or full stop. When sung by a soprano, it's spectacular. Well, what is it? Ah-ha-ha! Ha! Carmen, we've already had it, haven't we? That's why I put it towards the end, now I remember. So you also requested, when peace like a river ascendeth my soul. So we've had that twice, well, requested twice. But then the next hymn is also requested by Carmen Foster, who says that this tune, this hymn, was unknown to me until this week and fell in love with it. Okay, well, what could it possibly be? Oh, it's a well-known tune, a very well-known tune, but not um, necessarily um, attached to these words. Uh, yes, the tune often goes to, to, um, to, to other words. The tune is for St. Peter, and it's, My God, accept my heart this day, and make it always thine, that I from thee no more may stray, no more from thee decline. What should we have on? That one. This is the final hymn of the pre-requested hymns. And we'll have an organ piece, or actually we'll have an organ arrangement of some handle. That's not what you might think. And then we'll go into our top five tonight. Um, which tonight comes in from Katrina. Uh, Katrina Clinton, who was going to have her top five last week, but because of issues, we postponed it until this week. So a wonderful selection of top five hymns which come from this new hymn book, which has been sent over all the way from America. And you know me, I like to give it a good sniff. Ooh, it smells American. I've got a very sensitive nose, and I just like to smell things. I don't know, I've always liked to smell things. It's my strongest sense that I have. Anyway, now you know.
brings us to a close of that particular section of virtual church. Those are all the pre-requested hymns which people have been dropping into the BIS requests form. So thank you um, very much to those of you who've been doing that. We're now going to have a very quick sort of bridge, um, an intermission if you like, um, by way of an organ piece before going into our top five. So I'm going to play, um, I thought, what could I play on this particular organ that would work well? Something baroque something classical-y, something clear, something um, like Handel, something like Bach. And when I went with Handel and I thought, hmm, let's play one of the organ concertos. So the Cuckoo and the Nightingale um, is a pretty good organ piece. It's been arranged here by Marcel Dupre. I'm just going to play the first, uh, the first Allegro. So this is actually the second movement because the piece of, is one formed of um, sort of an introduction or an, an adagio, then this Allegro, and the middle movement is another adagio followed by another Allegro. So this is what it sounds like. Hope you, enjoy, hope you enjoy this. So, the 13th organ uh, concerto by George Frederick Handel. Who shall we go on to? Where am I playing mostly? Probably there. Hmm. Tough choice. Let's try this one.
the, that was the 13th organ concerto by George Frederick Handel, uh, nicknamed the Cuckoo and the Nightingale. And those, I don't know whether Handel called it that, I don't think he did, but it just seems to um, summon, conjure up a bird. Did you, did you sort of hear the motif? That, um, which is cuckoo, perhaps. And then I think that this bit is like, um, you know, birds when they, well, if you've got a cat, particularly in the summer when there's lots of bird song, where you've got a cat prowling around the garden, the birds will uh, make a very recognizable distress call, particularly blackbirds, actually. Blackbirds here, when Nala and Bobby are outside, make it very clear to their friends and colleagues that there are two cats on the prowl. And um, this is what I think might be a bird sound as well. That sort of that repeated um, sort of like a bird pecking at something. So just two ideas there which possibly are why that piece is nicknamed the, the Quicker of the Nightingale. Right, that takes us nicely, I think, <coughs> into Katrina's top five. So Katrina sent this through a while ago now. So thank you very much for being so patient, Katrina. Um, and it's good to have you with us in the chat. I've seen you chatting away and you've been in the chat for, well, you've been part of the community for a long time. So it's very good to have your company. So here is Katrina's list. Not only did she send me this hymn book, but she also, it arrived with these um, coloured bookmarks in them which tell me where to go and then incredibly they've stayed in there ever, across across the Atlantic and they haven't fallen out although I can only see four and I think they were meant to be five anyway we'll, we'll work it out so Katrina's list starts with number five which actually isn't in there is it it's here there's a separate photocopy so this is what Katrina says <clears throat> this hymn speaks to the power of Christ's presence wherever two or three are gathered in his name. Because of this presence, we are all, we have all, sorry, Katrina, because of his, this presence, we have all we, uh, we have all we need. There is quite enough hope and the joy and love. Enough uh, has been a watchword for me in these times that tempt us to despair and separation from another, one from one another and from the source of light and life. My dyslexia is completely kicking in tonight. I hope you don't mind. <clears throat> so number five is, um, in this very room, there's quite enough love uh, for one like me. And in this very room, there's quite enough joy for one like me. There's quite enough hope and quite enough power to chase away any gloom for Jesus, Lord Jesus, is in this very room. So this is Katrina's number five. Let's start.
a beautiful tune, beautiful hymn. A beautiful harmony as well, isn't it? The words and music was by Ron and Carol Harris. That's Ron and Carol Harris. So that was number five in Katrina's list. Let's move now on to number four, which takes us into the new century hymnal. Can't believe how helpful Katrina's been. And put these bookmarks in them. Um, unfortunately, the first one, I think, has fallen down. So number 337. So, what is at number four? It is Draw Us in the Spirit's Tether. I first learned this hymn at a music camp where 50 plus singers, um, I assume that's the quantity of, num of people rather than the age, um, gathered to sing hymns in four to eight harmonies. Uh, one evening at communion in the candlelight, we sang a cappella and all were moved to tears by the heavenly sound that echoed in the tabernacle. We had indeed touched the hem of the spirit's garment. Well, so draw us in the spirit's tether. For when humbly in your name, two or three are met together. You are in the midst of them. Hallelujah. Touch we now your garments. Hem. The tune is called Union and Seminary. Um, that's here. It gives a bit of background. Um, the British hymnal editor, um, Percy Adema, originally wrote these verses under a pseudonym as part of a post-communion hymn by George H. Bourne. The tune was adapted from an anthem by Harold uh, Friedel and is named for Union Theological Seminary in New York. Hmm, there we go. So, Draw Us in the Spirit's Tether. It's number four in Katrina's top five hymns.
beautiful hymn, and I apologise, Katrina, in the first verse, for one moment, I think for literally a quarter of a second, I thought I was in D-flat major, and then my conscience told my subconscious, no, you're talking nonsense, because um, it was this chord here. Um, written down with a G natural against the A flat. Uh, it looks like it should be in the chord of D flat with the G flat, like this. So I apologise for the slight, slight flop in verse one there. Robert, thank you once again for your um, incredible generosity. You say, um, beautiful hymn that calls me to worship. Um, well, that's what I'm here for. Please remind me of the uh, tune, uh, the name of the tune. I was distracted working on taxes. Oh, I was doing that the other week. <laughs> Rather you than me, Robert. So the tune, Robert, is um, Union Seminary. Union Seminary. Uh, and it's by Harold Friedel. Draw us in the spirit's tether. So now going into um, Katrina's third, the number three, should I say, my life flows on. I'll take out the third bookmark. From my Quaker heritage and the shape note uh, tradition, shape note tr tradition, this hymn uses the um, interrogative um, understatement for, to highlight the imperative of singing. How can I keep from singing? Um, and it reminds her uh, of uh, Eunuch's question to Philip, what is to prevent me from being baptised? And then she puts it out, by the way, side note, the third verse was penned by Doris Plen in the 50s uh, as friends were imprisoned during McCarthy hearings. Uh, the song had a rebirth of popularity in the 1960s when Pete Seeger sang it at a peace uh, at peace rallies. I hope that means uh, something to you guys over in the States. But it is, let me read the first verse for you. My life flows on in endless song above earth's lamention. I hear the sweet, though far off hymn, that hails a new creation. Through all the uh, tumult and the strife, I hear the music ringing. It finds an echo in my soul. How can I keep from singing? The tune here is called Endless Song. This is quite an uplifting one, I think. So let's make it sound uplifting. Number three in Katrina's list.
My life flows on in endless song. How can I keep from singing? It's number three in Katrina's list, taking us into number two. What wondrous love is this? Number 222 in here. And she says, as a lifelong singer, I am affirmed that my faith, in my faith, that through eternity, I'll sing on. What wondrous love is this, O oh my soul, O oh my soul. What wondrous love is this, O oh my soul. What wondrous love is this, that Christ should come in bliss to bear the heavy cross for my soul, for my soul. To bear the heavy cross for my soul. This anonymous folk hymn with this modal Dorian tune. A Dorian is a, um, a very old key, basically. That's a Dorian scale. Um, uh, it has appeared in many versions. William Walker, compiler, compiler of Southern Harmony, one of the most important 19th century tune books in the US, lived and died in uh, Spartanburg in South Carolina. Um, and that's where it's come from. It's come from um, his Southern Harmony hymn book. And the tune is called Wondrous Love. I haven't yet had the clarinet on the choir. So let's have the clarinet on the choir. There's also a clarinet on the top manual, so perhaps we should have a dialogue between the two. So what wondrous love is this, O oh my soul, 
Oh My Soul is number two in Katrina's top five hymns, most of which come from the New Century Hymnal. Number one we'll find at number 391. Number one, Katrina's number one hymn is In the Midst of New Dimensions, In the Face of Changing Ways. This is what Katrina says. This hymn was part of my ordination, installation and retirement services. I love the refrain and especially the threefold affirmation of now and ever, now and ever, now and evermore. So what is Katrina talking about? The words are this. In the midst of new dimensions, in the face of changing ways, who will lead the pilgrim peoples wandering in their separate ways? Rain, God of rainbow, fiery pillar, leading where the eagles soar. We, your people, ours the journey, now and ever, now and ever, now and evermore. Uh, the tune is called New Dimensions. Hmm, yes. And this is number one in Katrina's list.
So I've drawn a close to today's top five, which came in from Katrina Clinton. Starting at number five, we had In This Very Room, moving down to number four, draws us in the spirit's tether. Taking us into number three is My Life Flows On. And at number two, um, didn't quite make the number one spot, was What Wondrous Love Is This? And number one in today's top five was in the midst of new dimensions in the face of changing ways to the tune new dimensions thank you very much katrina for not only sending that top five through but also of course sending through this american hymn book which i have already smelled yeah. and i did say that this smells very american i don't know what america <laughs> smells like but just imagine you don't know what it smells like <laughs> uh, i just imagine the american churches smelling like that so thank you very much now that takes us into um our live requests the first which... one comes from nick knack hello nick knack who says good evening richard everyone in the chat please may i request the lord is king lift up thy voice to the tune niagara which is the second tune there many thanks nick knack absolutely absolutely the Lord is King, lift up thy voice, O earth, and all ye heavens rejoice. From world to world the joy shall ring, the Lord omnipotent is King. So yes, I actually forgot, to, I was so, so uh, excited about playing these hymns that I actually forgot to tell you my solution to the audio. So I had to dig deep. I, had to, I used to work in IT and I had to draw all of my knowledge rummaged through the database of knowledge that's in there. I think I Didn't might have spoiled long. this for them already. Didn't take long. And um, yes, so, so first thing they have to do is turn it off and then th this is where the magic happens. So turn it off, you then turn it back on and it works. Amazing.
It's a new tune on me, even though it's, this is actually from an English hymn book, Common Phrase. I didn't know that tune. Here's Bobby. Here's Bobby the Blobby. Oh, this right. is you requesting cats. Here she is. Hello, Bobby. She looks She's quite cold. chilled out, She's cold. She's been outside. She's been on Mouse Patrol. <laughs> on Mouse Patrol, I think. You're not in focus, Bobs. Bad luck. <laughs> We're not in focus. Oh, no. Oh. Bad luck. Poor Bobby. So the next hymn is, um, who's this one for? Should we have a look through the list of people who've been requesting? Goes up oh, to oh, Gregory, Gregory Potter. Potter. Yeah. Please, as we, please, would you play My Song is Love Unknown of John Ireland? I, I can indeed, because it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. It's, it's Lent on Wednesday. Have you mentioned that? Well, I haven't touched it. No, it's Ash Wednesday. Ash Wednesday this week. It's Ash Wednesday. What day is Ash Wednesday this year? Uh, Wednesday. Ash Wednesday. <laughs> the day after Shrove Tuesday. Yes, Ash Wednesday <laughs> on, um, on, on, uh, on Wednesday. to me, love to the loveless shown. Oh, that they might lovely be. It's been years since I've done that piece. Oh, how, um, so, oh, who am I? That's for thy sake, my Lord should take frail flesh and die. We won't, Gregory, I hope you don't mind, have all of the verses uh, because there are quite a lot of them. So we'll have four verses, including the verse where people are shouting and crucify. Happy birthday, Matt Leach, for yesterday. He was 67. Congratulations. Nearly age. as old as Bobby. I thought you'd say nearly, nearly as old as you. No, Bobby. Oh, don't give it away. <laughs> Here we go.
We're going to move into a, a BIS favourite now. I think that's larger because it is my favourite. And it's the wonderful tune by Howells. It's uh, Michael. And it's All My Hope on God is Founded. Um, and the final verse I will play will have a descant. Well, actually, will have a reharmonization, should I say. And that is by Howells himself. The very first chord, you might think that I've played a wrong note in it. But I can assure you that I will not play a wrong note in the first chord of verse, uh, verse 5. All my hope on God is founded. He doth still my trust renew. Me through change and chance he guideth. Only good and only true. God unknown, he alone calls my heart to be his own. This comes in from Carmen Foster. So Carmen, you've had quite a few hymns tonight. You absolutely deserve them. Here we go. Let's get some reeds ready. Can't think why. Need the reeds.
fantastic hymn, fantastic last, that final chord, that first chord of the final verse. Love it, absolutely love it. So rejoice, you pure in heart, lift praises to the sky, your festal banner wave with joy, the cross of Christ raise high. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, give thanks and sing. That's a bit of a, an, an antiphonal effect there between the girls and the boys. <clears throat> so this is a request from Robert. He's been very generous this evening and has been very generous he, over a number of um, weeks and months. So Robert, thank you very much. In the chat he said he likes this hymn with trumpets and loud. So this organ has quite a few trumpets. Got a couple. Here and there, so I thought you, scattered around. You, uh, even in that verse when they weren't meant to make an appearance, they, they got a bonus trumpet moment there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> those, those trumpets. Bonus um, trumpet moment. They have a mind of their own, those trumpets, I'm sure. Okay, so let's have a go. Rejoice, you pure in heart. So tune Marion. So don't skimp on the trumpets, will you? I don't skimp on anything. <laughs> you know that. I don't skimp it's on the trumpets. All or nothing. It's called full send. It's not a half send, it's a full send. It's out of the park. Let's go.
So that was Rejoice, you pure in heart. Lift praises to the sky with obligatory um, trumpets. I was told I had to use some trumpets, and uh, who am I to say no to trumpets? While you were playing that, Robert wrote in the chat, maybe my neighbours will again think my playing has improved. Windows open to the mountain top. On the mountain top, sorry. Good for you, Robert. I wish we could have our windows open, but it's a bit cold at the minute over here, unfortunately. It was quite warm today. It was actually warm um, today, you're right. There's been quite a, lot of, quite, a, quite a lot of chat tonight about the coronation on May the 6th. No, that's the bank holiday, isn't it? Um, or is, there's an extra bank holiday, but, but the anyway. The 7th is an exclamation, isn't it? The Tuesday or the Monday? And the, oh, it is the 6th then. It's on the Monday, is it? Okay. Fine. Well, the coronation, there's been lots of chat about the music, and uh, I'm sure you'll do something to mark the occasion here on BIS, won't you? Yes, I expect so. Yeah. We'll play some... Yeah, definitely. We'll have a... A relevant virtual church, I expect, with um, usual stuff. Mm. Yeah, but that's a, that's a few months off yet. It's just uh, Ian Garden started some discussion about it. I we'll have to start planning some. I um, wanted to let you know. Because the thing is, the celebratory fasts oh, and we loud do, music. Um, it's often it's quite hard, so I need to start practicing. We could do our it? amazing four hands, Zadok the priest. <sighs> God, do you remember that? Good. That was a highlight. How can we forget that? That was great fun. <laughs> For who? You, well, me, seeing your facial expressions was yeah. hilarious. Don't know. Yeah, it was. It was actually, that was a better attempt than a handle the Hallelujah Chorus. <laughs> that was pretty bad. That's <laughs> really bad, wasn't yeah, it, Bobby? It was. So yeah. we're going to have a, just a, a reprise from Katrina's top five, uh, as suggested by Robert. And I think Robert was particularly uh, moved by this particular hymn. It is. It was number four in Katrina's list. Draw us in the spirit's tether, for when humbly in your name, two or three are met together. You are in the midst of them. Alleluia. Uh, touch we now your garments hem to the tune Union Seminary. <clears throat> now, as I play this, I'd like you to suggest in the chat uh, what, I'm, what I should play at the very end of VC today. Caroline will keep an eye out. Uh, and uh, actually, this gives me an opportunity to say thank you to, uh, to Josh Wilson who has been doing a splendid job behind the scenes, uh, monitoring the chat and keeping me on track with what I play. Uh, it is really appreciated. You know, uh, last week when the audio wasn't working, it was very useful to have people confirming to me that the audio was a bit up the spouts, as you might say. Um, this week we seem to have got it right. So Josh Wilson, thank you very much. Can we all say uh, a, a thank you to Josh by giving a, a clappy uh, emoji for Josh. And then please let me know what I might play for a voluntary as I play this.
create him. Thank you very much, uh, Katrina, for bringing it to our attention in the first place, and then for Robert for requesting it again. Thank you very much. I was allowed to say a thank you to everyone who has donated this evening. Um, everything is still going towards uh, the music room. That will probably be a little bit later than I, than we had hoped, uh, but that's just due to the expense of it. Um, don't do things by, by halves, and we'll only do things when they're ready, and um, the, the best they can be, so we can all really, really enjoy it and get benefit from it. The better the music room is, the better that space is, the better the lighting is, the better the ambiance is and the atmosphere, the better the concerts will be, the better the workshops will be, the better the content will be, the better your enjoyment will be. It's just a nice sort of flow of things which result in your um, more enjoyment. Nala's had a request actually. Nala's she, had a request. Nala asked me this week whether you were going to build her a bed in the wall on a little ledge in camera so she could sleep there and not... What, in the uh, music room where I, are all the noises? Because she gets upset because when noisy. she walks on the top here you get you get cross with her. So she wants her own bed on the wall what, in, what a, 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 in, in full view of the camera. You're a vet, you're a vet aren't you? Might be. Right. What Do cats wear um, ear defenders? No. Oh. Can, you, can you train a cat to wear ear defenders? Probably not. Well you probably could. You can train a cat to use an inhaler, so why couldn't you train well, them to we wear couldn't. ear defenders? <laughs> we couldn't. We, <laughs> well, tried. we didn't try very hard. Well, I, tr I tried. I just gave up quite quickly. Do you, do you want to hear these voluntary requests? Yeah, go on. As long so, as in Dear Ist Freude, okay. Bridget Darjone from Adam Heron, um, uh, Hello, Adam. Something by Howells from uh, Paul and Riley and Daniel Kubecki, Martin Williams, What about Carl Ellert and Undankat Alagot? Um, oh, Glenn has submitted, I think this would be perfect for Lent, actually. It got lost in the ether, it wasn't in the form, but he submitted the Pascali and Fugue uh, BW582. That would be a good Lenten one. That's quite a one. big one, yeah. That would be a good Lenten. We'll have that one soon. We'll do that one in Lent, Glenn. I think that's a good Lenten voluntary. Um, Probably do that in a recital, actually. It's quite a big one. I don't know what this one is. Strathstra Ruthstra from Matt Leach. Do you know that one? I don't know that no, one. sorry. And maybe I'm saying it wrong. Sorry, Matt, if I'm saying it wrong. Um, okay, cool. So there are some there. I could play... Uh, yeah, and oh, something like a few more barks, a few more barks. Ian Garden, for Jimmy Carter, a short voluntary from the Orgel Buch line, BWV 643. Alla mentioned Müssen Sturben. Sturben. Yes. Um, where else are we going with this? Oh, 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 uh, Richard doesn't by chance know Rondo and G by Andre Knevel. Am no, I saying that wrong as well? I don't know that one. Um, and Josh, BWV 1055. Do you know that one? <laughs> We're testing his BWV knowledge now. That's, that's, that one's a far out one, that is, it isn't is, it? It is, it's way, way the out. The old one's normally 5, 3, something, 5, 2, and then go up to 5, 6, 5, 8. Not, one, not, that's, is that a that keyboard one. only one? I'm not sure what that I is. I don't know. Um, well, what should we have then? You're, you're, you're the boss. Oh, People just are waiting. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Um, how Bobby, Bobby says... Oh, it's uh, a keyboard how, concerto, how apparently. How much more in pounds are you to finish the room? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think the equivalent of a Porsche Taycan, put it that way. <laughs> yes, yeah, so with, 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 you know how much extensions cost? A lot. A lot. More than we had oh, hoped. He's chosen. He's chosen. Well, I'll play this and then you, uh, um, if there's a, maybe a quiet reflective one we can have at the end. Well, I mean, Paul and Riley and Daniel both wanted Howells or Whitlock, so I think maybe they should get a look in. Okay. Well, I'll have this one first, and then we'll have an end on a quiet one by Whitlock. Okay, everyone will know this. I don't need to announce it. You'll know it from the first couple of chords, I expect.
So that was obviously the Cargalert Nundankit Elegot. Martin Williams. Ma there we go. Requested by Martin Williams. So thank you very much for requesting it. And Bill said it just fits on Rotterdam. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? We're going to end on a quiet note tonight to send you away without your ears ringing. So I'm going to just send you away in a soft and luscious mood. You know what we do in Lent, don't you? Specifically, Monday, Thursday. Don't play organ vultures. No, Nightbot. Nightbot has to dust the organ and wash wash the organ pedal board. <laughs> really? Yeah. Nightbot to keep Nightbot busy. <laughs> <clears throat> right. So what do we, that's what we do? do aren't that's what we do. What we do in Lent, Nightbot gets to work. Nightbot. Right. So I want to play some Quitslot. This is his folk tune. Beautiful, beautiful ditty. Whitlock was the master of writing beautiful short pieces. And this is very much one of them. Does anyone know his uh, organ sonata in C minor? I'd very much like to learn that one day. Eh? So folk tune, this comes from the five short pieces. Three pages long. And if you don't know this, if you're thinking about switching off because you've never heard of it, you will regret it because this is gorgeous. This is one of our English um, very, very best um, shorter pieces of organ music. And it deserves to be known by everyone. It's sublime, I promise. If you don't enjoy this, then I really be very surprised. So it's Folk Tune by Percy Whitlock.
folk tune from the Five Shorts pieces by Percy Whitlock, which brings a close to today's virtual church with fixed audio, which is a, I can tell you, a huge, huge relief. So, thank you to everyone who has donated tonight in the chat and left me requests and um, just left donations because you're such wonderful people. Um, thank you for chatting away, thank you for your company, and thank you for just returning um, every week. It really is just um, one of my favourite things I do. And we wouldn't be here doing this without you lot, so thank you for your company. <laughs> Trevor says, the cat is purring very loudly. That's the point, I've got her, she's purring next to my microphone. Uh, so they can't people hear me. People like to hear that. Nala's purse. Being upstaged by well, Nala yet again. And thank you to Katrina as well for <laughs> top five. If you'd like to send in your top five, please do, just as Katrina has done, um, a, a couple of sentences about each hymn uh, and also a couple of sentences about who you are and where you are in the world and what hymns and what organ music mean to you. We have a few to get through already, uh, but we're always receiving them and I'm always very grateful to receive them. That's one of my favourite thing in virtual church. Look at you two. Favourite thing in virtual church is your top fives. So we'll say good night now. See you next week. Um, in fact, it might snow. I'm off to record another cathedral organ this week. Mm -hmm. And then I'm off to record another one next week. Wow. Nala says, can I come? <laughs> <laughs> so I'll let you know. When I'm, when I'm there, I will let you know where I am. And I'm very, very excited to bring you another uh, cathedral um, to BIS, recorded by the full BIS rig, including the drone, taking the drone to with the me. The drone. Don't look at the camera. The drone. John Hoskin is all about that. Good night, everyone. You take care. Maybe. You stay safe. And we will see Good you next everybody week. everybody from Nala. <laughs> Outrageous. <laughs> Goodbye.